What does love taste like? It's actually a good question. I bet it tastes like strawberries. What does love taste like? Huh? Ocellus glanced up from her book at the sudden and odd question. She and her friends were all gathered around a table in the school's library, the six of them currently in the middle of a study session for Professor Applejack's class when Silverstream had voiced out the out-of-nowhere question. Uh, what? I mean, does it have a taste? Silverstream continued with her usual exuberance, seemingly unaware of the stares she was getting from everyone else at the table. Is it spicy? Sour? Minty? Oh, does it taste like strawberry- I just called strawberries. Oh my god, I didn't even pre-read this. I, I don't even pre-read fanfics at all and I called that. Oh, that feels nice. Is it spicy? Sour? Minty? Oh, oh, does it taste like strawberries? I love strawberries. Um... Ocellus just sat there with her mouth open. Still, she was taken aback by Silverstream's abrupt line of questioning. You know, Gala suddenly interjected, happy to have any kind of reprieve from their study session. I've wondered the same thing too, so spell Ocellus, what does love even taste like? Or, or does it not actually have a taste and it's more of like a, like a feeling? Well, it's kind of, I mean, um... You don't want to know too. Changelings eat love, so it must taste like something, correct? It does, but um, I bet it tastes like sugar and spice and all that stuff, doesn't it? Especially love you get from ponies. Uh, sandbar. Smolder said, adding her own two bits in as she nudged Sandbar. I'll admit, I've wanted to ask you before, I just... Well, I never really found a good time to bring it up. Sandbar said, tapping herself nervously on the table. I mean, it's... it's not a weird thing to ask, is it? No, 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 it's... it's just... Sighing, Ocellus closed her book and set it aside as she realized that their study session likely wouldn't be able to go on until she answered her friend's questions. It's not really something I can give a short answer to. Well... Why not? Gallus asked. It's a simple question. Does love have a taste? Yes or no? But I wanted to know what it tastes like, Silverstream remarked. Well, why? It's, it's not like you could even taste it, so why bother? Gallus said with a wave of his talons. I was just curious, Silverstream replied, pouting slightly as she tapped her talon against the table and looked to Ocellus for an answer. The reason I can't give a short answer to, well, all of this, Gallus, Ocellus began, is because it's... it's a bit more complicated than that, Ocellus replied. So, you see... Oh no, here we go, Gallus muttered as he sensed a lecture coming on. Griffin, be quiet, Yona hissed at him as she leaned in closer. Yona listening to what friend has to say. Indeed, everyone around the table instinctively leaned in closer as they awaited with bated breaths for whatever Ocellus had to say. Being made the center of attention like this was causing Ocellus to start feeling slightly self-conscious, but she just pushed it aside and she told herself that her friends were just being curious and hadn't really meant any harm in asking. To answer your question, Gallus, yes, love does have a taste, but... That taste is vastly different depending on several factors. Like what? Gallus asked. What kind of love it is, for starters. After all, there's the love shared between family, between friends, between lovers, uh, just to name a few. And there are many different kinds of love and each has its own distinct flavor to them. Some love can certainly be spicy, if it's a fiery love, but more subdued love can have an almost cooling flavor to it. Uh, kinda like mint chocolate. Plus, who the love comes from is also a factor in how it tastes. I can say for certain that no two creatures give off the exact same type of love. Different types of love can also enhance the kind of normal food that we eat. Did, did you actually ever hear of the expression cooking with love? 
To changelings, that's, uh, well, often literal, as we can taste the love someone puts into their cooking. The table was silent again, as everyone slowly digested what Ocellus had told them. Content that she had satisfied their curiosity, Ocellus reached for her book again. So, what does my love taste like? Silverstream asked. Ocellus let out a squeak as she looked at her friends, all of whom were still looking at her with curious eyes. What? What? Ocellus stuttered, her cheeks turning bright pink. I mean, I, I just assume that you've fed off of each of us at some point, so what does it taste like? The others all nodded in agreement, and not a single look of judgment or anger amongst them. And... and you're not mad? Ocellus delicately asked. About me feeding on your guys' love? Well, I just figured it was some unwritten rule about being friends with a changeling. Smolder replied with a shrug. Yona no Ocellus not want to hurt friends, so Yona no mind. <laughs> Same, Sandbar said, adding. It's cool, really. Gallus gave a thumbs up to show that he was okay with it, while Silverstream just smiled and nodded. Ocellus felt a warmth well up in her chest, and she realized that her friends trusted her enough to not care if she snuck on their love on occasion. Well, thanks. Thank you, you guys. I, I guess if you all really want to know, each of your love does have a, a certain flavor to it. Sandbar, your love is sweet, kind of like a saltwater taffy. Figured Sandbar would taste like something sweet. Gallus remarked, glancing over at Ocellus, beginning to giggle. What? Well, it's just that your love tastes just as sweet. Uh, kinda like, um, cotton candy. What? Y you're joking. Ocellus just giggled even more. I'm not, I, I swear. Smolder snickled as Gallus sat there, with a flabbergasted look on his face. So, fess up. What does my love taste like then, Ocellus? Oh, your love is super spicy, Smolder, like biting into a hot pepper. The first time I tasted it, I was not expecting it to be so spicy. I actually had to go grab a glass of milk afterwards. Nice, Smolder said with a hint of pride in her voice. What Yona love tastes like? Ocella smiled at Yona. Your love is very... homey. I... I can't really think of any other way to describe it. it it's like... It's like having a warm bowl of tomato soup on a chilly day. That's... good? Yona asked, smiling when Ocellus nodded her head. Yona like having warm love. Oh, oh, me next, me next! Silverstream chirped excitedly. What does my love taste like? Please, tell me it tastes like strawberries. Blueberries, actually. Blueberry muffins, to be exact. Oh. Silverstream applied, appearing disappointed for a moment, before perking right back up. I do like muffins, though. With the topic now resolved, everyone went back to studying. Blissful silence resigned for several seconds, before Silverstream thought to ask another question. So... What kind of love is it? Ocellus just groaned and buried her face in her book. <laughs>